Baka mahulog ang GoPro mo ulit. Alright guys, there's going to be a bit of a bump on the the dock, so just get ready for that. Good afternoon and welcome to the Whirlpool Aero Car. My name is Colin and I'll be your host for this crossing. If you have any questions, just let me know. Just make sure you keep your masks on, please. And just so you guys know, you're going to switch sides for the way back, so don't worry about missing the view. The water to my right is coming downstream at about 35 to 40 kilometers an hour and about 170 million liters are passing through every minute. Also to my right is the American side. The first stop area up top there is part of Whirlpool State Park in Niagara Falls, New York. And if you look downstream a little bit, you'll see a big concrete wall. That's the Robert Moses Generating Station in Lewiston, New York. Just across the river from that, on the Canadian side, are the Sir Adam Beck Generating Stations in Kingston, Ontario. Straight ahead from us, where the cable is attached, that's still Canada over there, but even though we travel between two Canadian points, we cross over the U.S.-Canadian border four times in a full trip. Twice on the way over, twice on the way back. On my left is the Whirlpool. It's 126 feet deep in the middle, and to put that into perspective, the Whirlpool is about 200 to 250 feet above the water. As you can see, the water is moving around counterclockwise right now. That's because at this time of day, the water levels are its highest. After midnight though, water gets sent to those generating stations downstream. The water level drops 20 feet in this area, and the Whirlpool spin clockwise. Some of you guys may have noticed that purple boat downstream, that's a Whirlpool jet boat. If you wanted to get on there, I believe you need to book your trip on their website. As you can see, there's some people hiking and fishing down on the gorge. There are hiking trails that will bring you down to the water on both sides. If you wanted to get down there, you could just take a right out of the aero car parking lot and go down to the first parking lot on your right. There's a staircase there that will bring you down to the whirlpool. It's a pretty small parking lot and you have to pay to park there, but it's only about a 15 minute walk away from the aero car. There's also another staircase a little bit further down the road from there at the Niagara Glen and the Wego bus stops there. Right now the Aerocar is powered by a 50 horsepower electric motor and it's moving at about 7 kilometers an hour. If the power goes out though, we have a backup diesel motor that could bring us back to the dock and then if that didn't work, we have the rescue car in that tunnel back there. That's that little metal box. We can come and evacuate us four people at a time. Thankfully, we've never had to use it. The Aerocar opened up on August 8th of 1916, so it just turned 105 years old last month. Fishing over there. Over there. You know where's the people at? What fish are there? Uh, it's the salmon. Yeah, they have anything in there, but uh, maybe not. Yeah, everything. Left. Don't tie in a fishing lip.
the foam over there? It's the pollen from the uh, trees. No. I have to study it. Yeah, the bubble or the white one? Yeah. Okay, thanks for coming guys. Hope everybody had fun. There's just gonna be one more bump when we get to the dock, so make sure you get ready for that. And when you guys get off the car, just make sure you try to give try to give each other a little bit of space, please. Just let the group ahead of you exit before you exit. Thank you very much.